In the last stream, we began working on trying to complete some of the quests in the final tech quest line. Specifically, we started to try and complete some of these mod mastery quest books, but really the one that we kind of focused in on was the digital storage quest line here, because I think this one is by far and away the hardest one to complete. The good news is that right now our system is, I think, very close to completing this craft. We have all of the processes, both logic and calculation, and we're slowly but surely working through the crafting on these 1K parts here. I do see that we could add one or two more acceleration cards to this molecular assembler to make it just a little bit faster. And I think we should have what it takes to make one more acceleration card here to make that even quicker. But I think this should be done at some point before the end of today's episode, and we should have all 128, 256K ME storage components required to make the 16 digital storage mod mastery books. I did have to make some tweaks since the end of the last episode. Specifically, I had to add just way more inscribers because even with the setup we had previously, it was going to take way, way, way too long for it to finish. And so basically between streams, what I did is I added two draw controller slaves, which as we saw earlier in the pack, just act like other draw controllers. You can't have more than one draw controller in a draw network, but you can add the slaves. And then I just duplicated the setup that we already had here with another laser node here and here. And then I surrounded each of those with inscribers. So now whenever the right items are in these drawers, they get sent to different inscribers around this area to uh, to produce different things. And so I had to make a bunch more silicon presses. You can get those from the quest book back under, I think it's Elite Research, which is here. Uh, never mind, it's Ultimate Research. I bought a few more of these mysterious cubes, put those down, got a few more of the silicon presses, and then basically set all of these up to make inscribed silicon because we needed a lot of that in order to make all of the processes we needed. And then over here, we basically have uh, this making the calculation presses. And over here, we have this making the logic presses. And with all of these inscribers, it made it substantially faster to the point where we now have all of the presses that we need. All we need to do now is just wait for the molecular assembler to finish doing its thing, which as I said a minute ago, I don't think is going to take too much longer. It says 54 minutes here, but at the speed this is going, I don't think it's going to take 54 minutes. And by that, I mean, I hope it's not going to take 54 minutes, but either way, now that that's taken care of, we can start to look at some of the other quests here. So all of these require mod mastery papers and the mod mastery paper is made with paper and voided technium ingots. Now people have pointed out quite rightly that we don't actually need 160 mod mastery papers because the tech book mastery paper here doesn't actually require the mod mastery paper. It doesn't use the paper. Much like our singularities over here, these don't use up the ultimate catalyst. And so I'm fairly certain that this recipe here won't actually use up the mod mastery paper. And so I think in total, we need 150 of these mod mastery papers to finish. If we're gonna get 150 mod mastery papers, that means we need 150 voided technium. For that, we're going to need a bunch of nether stars. I believe 640 was the number that we came to in a previous episode. That number was for 160, but again, we do need extra voided technium just for the actual final craft here of the final technium ingot. Now, at the moment, we don't have a spare crafting CPU. That makes complete sense because our giant 512K crafting CPU is currently busy. You'll notice that I did replace down these two 1K crafting storages. The reason for that is that between streams, with only one crafting storage, that meant that our system was unable to craft these guys over here for this system to keep working. And so if we'd have just left the one CPU down, we would have come back to not enough elite mob essence. And so between streams, I put down the two 1K crafting storages. This allows our system to still do those small crafts required to keep things running whilst using this main big CPU for the big craft. I also did add two crafting co-processing units here. Basically, this just allows the CPU to do multiple things at once. If you don't have any crafting co-processing units, it will just do one thing at a time. And so, for example, if we needed to craft like a bunch of quartz glass, it would not do that crafting, even if it had the stuff required to do it, if it was already busy doing something else, like smelting at nether quartz into certain quartz. Even though those two things are not really related, it would only do one thing at a time. Whereas the more crafting core processing units you add to a CPU, the more things it can do at once. And so if you have a couple of these on here, it's able to do multiple parts of the craft simultaneously, and it just makes things a little bit faster. So real quick, 
How long have we got left on here? We've got 41 minutes left. I do think that we should try and get some nether stars. Of course, we can do that manually. We don't have to rely on the AE2 system to do that for us. We can put these in. We can do a quick tap with the time in a bottle here, and we can get a bunch of nether stars to allow us to start making some of those mod mastery papers. We do thankfully have enough elite mob essence now to make that happen. We've got almost 9,000 elite mob essence in the drawer here, which I'm fairly certain should be enough to get us through to the end of the mod pack. And I think the first thing that we should do is probably try and get that uh, that tech book paper because once we have that we can then start to reuse those papers that we would use for the tech books for other stuff so let's go ahead and throw these nether stars in to here that's going to make even more of these voided technium ingots let's take this one voided technium ingot and craft that up into a mod mastery paper and then over here i think i will temporarily reuse this quantum compressor so i'm going to just take out this item card here for a second and i'm also going to take out these uh, 53 technium singularities and uh, we can't really put those in there. Actually, never mind. We totally can. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So over here, let's put you in like this. And if we're going to make 16 of these books, that means that we need 16 lots of 128 tech books. 128 multiplied by 16 is 2,048. So if we want to make 2,048 tech books, we have a couple of different ways of doing it. We can do it with the hellish technium. We can do it with the void technium. Or we can do it with the ultimate technium. I think that the hellish technium might be the best way of going about it here. The voided technium is technically better, but it does require more nether stars. And I'm a little concerned that if we use too many of our nether stars trying to make 64 tech books here, we would still need to use 32 voided technium just to get all of the tech books required. If we do 2048 divided by 50, we would have to use 41 hellish technium, which I think is much more reasonable. So I'll take the 30 that we have here and I'll take an extra couple out of here as well although i think we do have some in the system we do indeed we've got two there so you know what let me put two of these back in here and then let's use these with some bronze to make this happen i don't think we have enough bronze we don't however we do have a setup over here that is able to make bronze and we should be able to speed that up quite a bit should we need more um i said that we actually don't have any bronze in there although we do have bronze in here. Again, it is being used quite quickly, and it looks like, surprisingly, the uh, coal coke has become our bottleneck again in terms of, I assume, making basically everything here because we're just ripping through all of our all of our stuff. But let's put these in like this. Let's see how many we can get. So we need to basically use all of the hellish technium. That actually went further than I thought it would. To be fair, I didn't think we'd get that many. So we don't actually need that much more bronze, which is, is good. We can make some more bronze very quickly. Over here, let's start throwing these in. Thankfully, they do craft very quickly. And... Even better than that, one thing that I did not think would be the case is that I didn't think these would stack. The fact that they do stack is very nice indeed. So real quick, if we change the exporter on here to export more of the uh, the silver and the copper, and I click the wrong button every time when I try that, I always think it's left click and it's not, it's right click. If we uh, increase the number of copper and tin sent to this machine, we should then be able to uh, swap out, of course, the integral component. Speaking of which, we uh, we don't currently have any. However, we do need to get quite a few for this recipe here. This recipe is actually one that we should probably just teach our system. So, real quick, do we have any more flux linker gemifiers? We do. Let me throw those in like that. And uh, let's also just kind of swap out the tin in here. Make sure it sends a stack at a time. And while we're at it, I think some speed upgrades could go a long way towards making this just that little bit faster. Fantastic. And so that should start to make more bronze for us. We can also give that a little bit of a tap there to make it just that little bit faster, and then we can start stealing that bronze out of here for use in our tech book crafting. While we wait for more of that bronze to come in, though, let me take a quick detour, and then over here, I want to teach our system how to make the Thermal Mod Mastery Book like this. We can encode that, and we can place it in behind the induction smelter, like so. And then I think the only other thing we need to teach it is how to make the diamond gears like this. Because I'm pretty sure that diamond gears are not something that it currently knows how to make. It doesn't, but that's fine. Boom. And I think that's basically good to go at this point. Obviously, it is going to require 16 of these mod mastery papers. Again, I don't foresee that being too much of an issue, especially um, once we get all of those nether stars created. Over here, we've got 19. Let me do something like this and like that. 
Uh, that gets us 14 of them, and it's actually paper now that we're light on, but thankfully we do have uh, basically an infinite amount of sugarcane ready to go, and so making two more of these should be pretty straightforward. Let's put those back in the system, and then with that, we should be able to request 16 of these uh, Mod Mastery Thermal Books. Again, the only thing potentially holding us back here, yeah, is gonna be our uh, storage, the amount of uh, bytes that we have available to us. So, Signalum also seems to be another problem issue. However, if we just take some Signalum here and dump it in the system, I think that kind of fixes that problem for us. Almost, we need 196 more. Again, we are backed up quite nicely in here. If we just go ahead and steal basically all of that, that might do the trick. It totally does. Nice. Um, we are also missing some sand, some invar, and some advanced technium. None of that should be too difficult, he says. Again, we're not exporting the ultimate technium over here anymore. A lot of our ultimate technium has been turned into these singularities, which I think is good, though, because we are going to need more of these going forward. Surprisingly, soul sand seems to be our limiting factor here, which is very surprising. Let me take the sand out of here. I'm not quite sure how sand ended up in this hopper. I've had a few issues like that between episodes like i'll reload the pack and certain things uh, either break or end up in the wrong place one thing that's notorious for it is um over here this machine keeps stopping i have to come on usually and kind of get rid of one of these put this back in and then like retick the recipe because uh, for some reason whenever the server restarts it kind of breaks that uh, crafting recipe for some reason either way uh, how are we doing on bronze let me see if we don't have enough to hopefully make this work we don't, and that's due to a power issue, which is because this is kind of old infrastructure that does not have a, a flux point on it and is actually surprisingly uh, still running on one of the old lapidary dynamos. And so if we do quickly one of these and one of these, that should hopefully give it enough power to keep doing what it's doing. And then from there, we can probably even tap it just a little bit faster, but we do already have some more bronze on us. And so if we do this with the hellish technium we can get a bunch of our tech books and i think we might actually be good to go here chat we totally are nice and so that should be enough hopefully to get us the remaining books over here let's do something like this get all of these dumped in here and with that we have 16 mod mastery tech books nice i'm gonna leave this off for now because i don't want any more of our ultimate technium which is backed up here being uh, turned into singularities i want to start to back up hopefully on ultimate technium and i guess more specifically advanced technium because it looks like we're going to need that advanced technium in order to uh, to move forward with the crafting of the uh, the thermal expansion book to that end i will also take out the exporting of advanced technium over to here for the time being and so that should allow us to start backing up on advanced technium so that hopefully we can make that thermal book before the end of the episode but uh, that is one down and there's a few more to go the next easiest one might actually be the compression mod how are we doing on this um crafting part we are very close and in fact i think we can do this right we totally can i don't know if that actually makes it much faster than it already is this is coming together very quickly though once all of the 1k storage parts are made everything else should come together quite quickly there are quite a lot of 4k parts but then after that there are very few 64k parts and even fewer of course uh, 256k parts so that really shouldn't be too difficult one thing we could also do which we probably should do, is we could make more molecular assemblers. For that, we do need more quartz glass, so that's fine. But uh, especially given that we have the crafting co-processing unit, the molecular assemblers here should be able to run in tandem. So essentially, if we... These are all invalid recipes, eh? I have no idea what's happened here. The system seems to be fine. Like, it's doing its job. But for whatever reason, all of these patterns are invalid, which I'm, I have no idea what's up with that. But if I do this that does work you'll see it's using both of these at the same time i do have a lot of acceleration cards over here i made a lot of them to uh, to make all of these machines as fast as possible because again it was just taking absolutely forever but now that both of these are down and both these are being used we should be able to make things twice as fast as we were previously and again things should come in a lot quicker i don't know which one of these emmy pattern providers has the pattern in that we need so you can add more, like I could do this, for example, and if, oh yeah, no, that totally works, fantastic. I was gonna say, if this has the pattern for the uh, the 1K or the 4K drive, then that will work. But um, if it didn't, then if, for example, if the pattern was in here, then uh, it wouldn't work, right? Um, if I was trying to make a bunch of crafting tables, this molecular assembler is not connected to this pattern interface, and so I couldn't use that. So uh, let me go quickly steal even more of these, just to make this 
even faster, uh, because once this is done, we should be able to uh, hopefully start utilizing this uh, 512k crafting CPU for other crafts here, which I think is going to be uh, necessary. All right, and not too long later, we now have all of the 128, 256k ME storage components, and we should be good to go on crafting this recipe. Um, I did, while we were waiting, craft up yet more nether stars and put those in over here to get yet more voided technium. Fantastic. So we should be able to make yet more mod mastery papers. Um, we have the 16 that we made earlier. Let's do something like this with the 256k storage parts like this, and then we'll craft all of those down. Fantastic. That is another one taken care of. We can check that off the list. Next up on the list, uh, another easy one for us is going to be the X compressor. I'm just going to craft all those down because I know we're going to need them. And then speaking of crafting things down, let's get like another 300 nether stars crafted because we're going to need even more voided technium going forward. So down here, we have got a ton of 9x compressed cobblestone. Let's take a bunch of that out. Uh, we probably don't need that much actually, but we can put it all in the system. And then from there, we should be able to craft up this guy, the compressium book. Again, we need uh, 16 of these. I do want to make sure we don't go overboard because these uh, mod mainstream papers are actually quite expensive and we can only make a certain number of them. Boom, 16. Done. That's another quest taken care of. I feel like we should probably do Flux Networks next because that one's already ticked off, but it's not actually done. And this is one of those situations where I think it's probably easiest if we just teach our system how to craft these Flux blocks. We did do it manually before, but we need so many of them at this point that I think we might as well just teach it and, uh, and have our system do it. Speaking of having our system do it, if I type in thermal now, we are still going to be missing some stuff here, specifically like the invar. Yeah, we need 326 invar and we need uh, 223 advanced technium. How much have we managed to acquire in the time it took me to do the stuff that I just did? The answer is not much. <laughs> and the limiting factor, surprisingly, uh, is invar over here. Um, again, this is one of those situations where we should definitely make things faster. Speaking of making things faster, let me request like 20 integral components. Those are going to be needed for the future anyway. And uh, I said 20. We don't have what it takes to make 20. Let me quickly increase the number of invar and iron sent here, much like we did previously to keep this running faster. Let's also throw in more flux linkage amplifiers and let's also put some speed upgrades into this guy as well to just export those faster good and uh, can i make one <laughs> resonant integral component i can that one component should allow us to replace this hardened component and it should make the production of invar just a little bit faster boom and boom okay cool and we can maybe even tap that a little bit to make it even quicker and that should hopefully make some of this a little bit faster as well but we are gonna have to wait for that invar to come in in order to get those thermal papers. Anyway, back over here, I need more blank patterns if we're gonna teach our system how to make the uh, flux blocks here. We should have some surface quartz, we don't, that's fine. Let me request a few hundred surface quartz here. That should be made very quickly over in our crafter, our sequential fabricator. And uh, with that, we should then be able to make, hopefully, a couple of these blank patterns, which we can throw in here. And then using those blank patterns, we can teach our system how to make the flux block. We can teach it how to make the flux dust. We can teach it how to make the flux cores. And then finally, we can teach it how to make the eyes of ender. And assuming we have enough blaze powder, which is kind of a big if, but assuming we do, everything should be fine. I'll put this in here. Do we have what it takes to make this? So we already have one book. And actually, we've already got 125 flux blocks. Did we make all of the flux blocks required in the last episode? I don't remember making all of them, but we might have actually done it. Never mind. Let me put that away. Let me get the uh, papers back out. Can I make 16 of these? And by 16, I mean 15, because we already have one flux networks paper. We totally do. That is my bad. We, uh, we must have made them all previously. Anyway, that's four down, six to go. So now there's Mechanism, Essence, Immersive Engineering, Thermal, Beyond Earth, and Waystones. Waystones, I think, is, again, another one that's going to be super easy. To make this, we need to get uh, 128 of these Warp Stones, which is just Ender Pearls, Emeralds, and Amethyst Shards. I say it's easy. The annoying bit about it is that they don't stack. That's horrible. And the second bit that's a little tricky, or the only bit that makes it even slightly tricky, is the fact that we don't have that many Amethyst Shards 
over here we are making amethyst shards. Actually, never mind, we've got loads of amethyst shards. So it's really just a case of crafting 128 of these, throwing them in the system because annoyingly they don't stink, and then once we have them all, just crafting them into the books because we already have them on papers and that should be once we have this done the halfway mark right we're going to be halfway through the papers and i think we've done some of the hardest ones although some of the tricky ones are definitely still on the cards and there we go 133 warp stones i got a little carried away at the end there i made too many that is fine let's do this and let's do 16 of these somebody in the twitch chat did point out that you can actually also buy these you can buy them here in uh, in the quest book I probably wouldn't recommend it just because we need the, uh, for us at least, we need the Technium for other recipes. I don't want to be using that Technium if we don't have to on buying Warp Stones. Although if you wanted to, you could definitely spend, you know, a few hundred Tech Books in order to get those Warp Stones instead. But that should be the halfway mark done. We do actually have to hold one of the books if we want to get the quest complete. Fantastic. We're halfway there. So now, Beyond Earth, Thermal, Immersive Engineering, Essence, and Mechanism. The Mechanism one... I think should be fine. In order to get the mechanism book, we need quantum entangler porters. Again, we're gonna need a stack of these if we wanna make this work. If we want a stack of quantum entangler porters, we need a stack of teleportation cores, which is easy enough. We need uh, two stacks of atomic alloys, and then we need four stacks of refined obsidian and two stacks of ultimate control circuits. Most of this is just a lot of atomic alloys, and thankfully, we've got loads of atomic alloys backed up here that we can just dump right into the system and then use however we like the annoying thing is that i think if we dump them in the system they might get just sent back but uh, we're making more of them we could take them as and when we please we are also going to need a lot of the previous tiers of alloys here actually and again this is one of those situations where the infused crystalline here is kind of the limiting factor uh, because we need it to make these infused alloys so what i might do temporarily is i might turn auto eject off on this so that it kind of backs up on the infused alloy we can make it substantially faster we could also potentially make an installer as well just to uh, speed things up a little bit here if we did something like that we could turn the auto sort on we could steal even more of these crystalline gems do something like that and then very quickly get a lot of infused alloy because again if we want to make this let's start by seeing if we got craft a stack of these we totally can easy then two stacks of atomic alloys is easy enough then two stacks of ultimate control circuits so to start with, we need to get two stacks of basic control circuits, which means we need two stacks of osmium, which is fine. We need to run that through, like, this infusing factory. Again, a quick tap with the time in a bottle is going to go a long way here. Once we have all of those, upgrading them to the next tier of circuits should just be a case of crafting them with infused alloy. Again, we do need uh, two stacks of it there. One and... Two. <laughs> perfect and then going up to the next tier requires the elite control circuits and we'll throw those in and that gets us one and then do we have what it takes for a second one we don't that's because we've stopped these going out that's fine let's turn auto eject back on here let's turn auto eject off here so that this machine starts backing up on those alloys and again we just need to kind of steal all of these gems throw as many of them as we can into here and then start taking these reinforced alloys using them to craft elite and then you get the idea here, once we have Elite, we can then just craft that up into Ultimate with the Atomic Alloys, which surprisingly are the ones that we have the most of. And that is almost everything. The only thing left to do after that is get the four stacks of Refined Obsidian. That is going to be done in on the Osmium Compressor, which we do have. I can't remember if we placed it down here. I don't think we did. The Osmium Compressor might even just be somewhere else. Oh, of course, our Osmium Compressor is over here, right? It's making... Um, glowstone currently that is fine we can probably just make a second osmium compressor they're not particularly expensive and i probably will also make another installer card here just to make things nice and quick and then we can do the same maybe with an advanced installer card and we can get some speed and energy upgrades to make all of this substantially faster because we really don't want to be doing this with the default number of speed and energy upgrades so let's do this and this fantastic for now let's put this down i guess over by the other mechanism machines. We can place it down right about here, even though that's somewhat haphazardly placed. You know what, let me move that. I'll put it down here, just because I think it looks a little less haphazard. Let's do one installer and two installers with the speed and energy upgrades. We can then drop in just a bunch of osmium because we got 50,000 osmium in our setup. We can drop all of that in like so. And then from there, if we want to make the refined obsidian ingots, we just need refined obsidian dust, which we are making over here we've got a stack of it backed up there 
and there might even be another stack of it backed up elsewhere there is look at that fantastic so we can just start throwing these in like so turn auto assault on give that a quick tap and just make sure that it's full up with osmium and that should very quickly allow us to get the uh, the four stacks of refined obsidian that we need again more is being made over here all the time we can make this nice and fast ideally not making the uh, the flux duct faster but uh, as we have more stacks of that we can throw them into here good stuff how are we doing on those elite alloys we've got another stack of those which i think is more than enough we can probably turn auto eject back on there to make sure things keep running make sure osmium is stacked up in here make sure we've got enough to get the four stacks required and i think we're pretty much good to go let me make the remaining elite control circuits and then once we've got those let's make the remaining ultimate control circuits i don't know if we quite have enough there again though we might be able to steal even more atomic alloys to continue this craft and how are we doing now ultimate control circuits we got 106 we're a little bit shy of the full number we need it looks like we do in fact need more of these so let me uh, turn that off again you though are so close to being done we've got almost four stacks there let me do this and this fantastic okay so we have the four stacks of refined obsidian that's all good over here we are getting the remaining alloys for the remaining elite control circuits and then we could turn those obviously into ultimate control circuits and once we have all of the ultimate control circuits we can then just start crafting the uh, the quantum entangle potters, right? How many of these can we make is a good question. Again, we need even more atomic alloys. These do get auto-exported, which is why they keep going back to the system. But if we do this, we can get uh, just a bunch of these, right? And annoyingly, much like with the waystones, they do not stink, which would have made it substantially easier. But we need 64 of these in total. And so let's see if we don't have enough of everything here to make 64 quantum entangle potters. And there we go, 64 quantum entangler porters. I did have to make a few more of the uh, circuits there, but we now have everything that we need. And so that should be the mechanism mod mastery books taken care of. Can I make 16 of these? The answer is no, because we are out of voided technium. That should be fine though, because now that we've requested more nether stars be made, we can start taking those out of here. The system does still seem to be making them, which makes me think that there's maybe a problem. Nope, it just takes a while. To make them that is completely fine over here let's do this to fill this up with nether stars and then once all of those are in they don't want to be up there they want to be in here that's gonna start making more of the voided technium for us we can again make this a little bit faster because by default it's not particularly fast we do still have nine hours or almost 10 hours actually in our time in a bottle and once we have at least 16 voided technium we can once again take that craft up yet another bench of the papers and we can make the remaining mechanism books here we can just shift click this because we have exactly the right amount to make 16 books and boom so now we're down to the last four here beyond earth thermal immersive engineering and essence so again for thermal over here how are we doing on invar we're backing up nicely on invar now which is good to see i do want to keep taking that out as and when we have it how are we doing on advanced technium we're gaining advanced technium which is also good and uh, if i wanted to make 16 of these books i assume we're still not quite there but we're probably getting closer. The Mod Mastery Papers, of course, we can make. We need 200 more Advanced Technium. We need uh, 283 Ender Pearls, which is interesting, but that's what we're missing. And then we need uh, nine more Invar. So the Invar is easy enough. In terms of the Ender Pearls, I guess we just need more Ender Essence, which I assume is still being made and processed over here. It's not. The structure is missing something. Have I broken... I have broken. What in the world? I do not remember breaking that at all, but we do in fact have one piece of ender ore in the system. That is not ideal. Real quick, let me steal a couple of the beacons down here. We no longer really need any more die ore. We have the uh, 65,000 die ore that we need. And so I'm just gonna steal four beacons and quickly upgrade our ender ore setup to produce the ender ore just that little bit faster so that we have enough ender pearls to, uh, to make it through to the end of the thermal quest line. While we're waiting for more of this to come in, because again, Invar is still the limiting factor on more advanced Technium. Although the Invar, again, this is another issue that I've seen sometimes. I don't think it's an issue. I think it's just that there's no speed upgrades in this um, exporter here. And it, I think the Simple Storage Network prioritizes the other exporters that have those uh, speed and stack upgrades. If I quickly throw a stack upgrade 
into here, I think I should start sending some of the Invar over a lot faster. And there we go. You'll see we're making this advanced technium much quicker now. So hopefully we can get the 200 that we need in a somewhat reasonable period of time. While we wait for that, though, let's look at uh, Beyond Earth here. So we need 16 of these. And so much like with the Quantum Entangler Portal, we need 64 rovers. Getting the 64 blocks of Calorite, I think, is fine. I actually think we already have, uh, yeah, 1,400 blocks of Calorite. So that is not a problem. The 64 rovers here, I think we're going to want to teach our system how to make these. So at this point, again, all of these patterns are invalid. I think that's because these are... I actually don't know why these are invalid. I'm not going to lie. But um, I think we can temporarily get rid of some of those because we're no longer using them to make more... We're not going to make any more 256k storage parts. And so what I think I'll do is take some of these out and put them in here. We'll come back to those in the future. What we should be able to do now, though, is teach our system the parts of the craft required to make this rover here, even though it doesn't seem to want to take this craft in. Again, it could be due to the staging, the fact that this is, like, locked behind a certain stage. I think the same thing's true over here. I think the reason that these patterns are getting messed up like this is because some of the recipes, like even the digital storage recipes from Applied Energistics 2, are locked behind certain recipe gates, and the AE2 system doesn't have access to those recipes, which is a bit of a pain. So instead, we might have to craft these manually. That's fine. Getting a stack of chests, super easy, not a problem. Getting a stack of furnaces, also super easy, not a problem. We might have to do some with the compressed cobble, but again, easy stuff. Then a stack of buckets, also pretty easy stuff. Fantastic. We then need a stack of iron plates, which is fine. We can just throw a stack of iron into this multi server press. That's going to do a stack of iron plates for us. And at that point, we now need a stack of steel, which we should already have, and then two stacks of wheels. This is where it gets a little bit more expensive. So we get two at a time, so we need to make a stack of these. We need four stacks of slime balls, four stacks of black dye, and a stack of steel. Black dye we can make with dye base, which is interesting because we actually do have a lot of dye base. So I'll make four stacks of black dye. We're still making more dye base, of course, and so that will replenish whatever we just used and uh, fill it back up again, which is very nice. And then four stacks of slime balls we can either make with vines or we can make with the resource duplicator. And as crazy as it sounds, I think the vines are the easier way of going about it. We could take a lot of our, um, you know, default essence, which we've actually completely run out of now, uh, which I think could be bad. <laughs> um, let me turn this off so that we don't use up any more. And also, let me go check. Where are we making basic mob essence? I think it's on the lower platform. It is. I'm pretty sure it's this one here. We could probably do with maybe doubling that up. All I'm thinking about is that we do have an essence quest line to complete. We have to do this 16 times. Elite mob essence wise, we should be fine. We've got a decent amount of elite mob essence, I think, still left in here. Yeah, 1,900 is good. And then we do still have a decent amount of elite ore essence in here, which is also good. We can put those in the system, although I might just put them back into these uh, drawers now that I think about it. Oh, it doesn't. That's that's good. Yeah, we can keep a hold of this as well, because we need a lot of these for that uh, that same recipe. And again, we need to do this 16 times, which is horrible. But um, the hard part's going to be getting the advanced mob essence and the basic ore essence. It shouldn't be too hard, but again, we do need to have a lot of that stuff backing up. And so I might need to quickly go and set up at least a, one or two more miners for basic ore essence, just because we have burned through all of it making elite mob essence. Um, anyway, the rover. I think, basically, what I'm going to do up here, you'll see I have a jungle tree. That's because between episodes, I did need some slime balls in order to make more of these inscribers. They require the sticky pistons. And so basically, all I've been doing is taking shears, which I have in my inventory, but we'll make some more, and just harvesting all of the vines on a tree like this. We can go ahead and take really as many of these as we can fit, and then we can just craft those down into slime balls like this. We do need four stacks of slime balls which is going to take a couple of jungle trees, but, you know, we've got 20 there already, uh, getting four snacks. I really don't think it's going to take too long. And so, uh, yeah, let's get uh, vine farming. And a little bit of vine harvesting later. We now have over the 256 required slime balls. And so we should be able to make, I think, all of the two stacks of wheels. And from there, I'm going to assume that much like the quantum entangler porters and the warp stones, that... These rovers don't stack. They don't, <laughs> annoyingly, but we only need to make one stack of them. And I think we have everything that we need 
in order to make that happen. I think we just keep crafting here until we run out of wheels, at which point we should have all of the rovers required. And given that we already have all of the calorite, it should just be a case of doing this and this, and then now we just need more of these papers, but we should have more papers because we are, or we were at least, still making more void of technium. Fantastic, let's do even more of these. Um, we'll do at least another 32 because we're definitely gonna need those. And then we'll go ahead and do even more of these. Again, we got just the right amount of rovers so we can just shift click. And that's another one ticked off the list. So now we're down to the final three. We're down to essence, we're down to thermal, and we're down to immersive engineering. I did put down a second miner here for essence and I upgraded them both with the beacon. So we're getting the essence all in nice and fast. And if we check again up here, we should see hopefully, yeah, that we're starting to back up quite nicely on essence again, which is very nice indeed. And then how are we doing over on advanced technium? We're 166, which I feel like is the exact same amount we had before, uh, but that's because these are not getting imported, which makes sense because of the fact that um, there's a limit, there's a downgrade on the draw over there. That's fine though, because we can, of course, give this a uh, quick tap to make it faster. And we could of course take that out and put it in here. So are we somewhat close for like the eighth time today? We are somewhat close. We're missing 33 NVAR and we're missing a little bit of an advanced technium. The advanced technium we have, and so that is ticked off the list. The NVAR we can steal from here. Yep, we'll drop that all into the system. And then it's just the ender pearls that are the problem. We need 145 more ender pearls and we just do not have them, which is unfortunate. The ender ore is being made faster and faster now than it was before. Like we're making quite a few ores here, but we just need so many of them. Um, I guess we could do something like that to really start to ramp up production on the ender ores. And then uh, if we wanted to put our hand on the scale, we could then even take a lot of those out and just kind of move them directly into here to really accelerate the speed at which we make those um, ender fragments to hopefully kind of brute force it. Because once we have those ender fragments, we're good on the thermal books, right? And it looks like that's coming in quite nicely. It looks like that is indeed working. Let me quickly check here. We need 98 more. We also have to make 96 resonant integral components. And so what I'll do is I'll request 96 resonant integral components. Never mind. That is what requires the ender pearls. We can't do that just yet. That is fine. Okay. In that case, then I'm just going to quickly continue to brute force this until we have the ender pearls required. And then we will go ahead and request it. All right. And a little bit more ender pearl brute forcing later. We are ready to go. We just need 16 more of the mod mastery papers. We've got 14. Uh, we should be able to make uh, 15 and 16 just as soon as we make even more paper here. Boom and boom. Okay. So there's 16 of those. And if we, once again, hopefully for the final time, request 16 of these, we can now hit start. And that is just going to make all of that for us. And again, hopefully it's not going to take too too long annoyingly it's um so there's a slight problem here and i think the slight problem is actually the fact that we have uh, let me cancel the craft i can click cancel here i i'm gonna put stuff back in the system i think the problem is the crafting co-processing units i think the crafting co-processing units here are trying to do multiple things at once and they're sending too much to the induction smelter which in this case is actually bad for us let me see if i can try that again start and I'm hoping that this time around, it might take a little longer because it's not doing more than one thing at once, but I'm hopeful that uh, it doesn't try and send too much stuff to the induction smelter like it was trying to do a second ago. Uh, before, I think it was trying to send like multiple recipes via this pattern provider to the induction smelter, and that was just not gonna work, right? It was just too much for it to, uh, to handle. So that is kind of just gonna take care of itself. We can just leave that to do its thing, and it is gonna do everything we need it to do. It's already making the signal on gears. It's gonna make all of the um, different tiers of integral component. And it's gonna make everything for us. That leaves us with two more, immersive engineering and essence. Real quick, the Twitch chat is saying that um, if we turn blocking mode on, do not push crafting ingredients of inventory contains a pattern input. Interesting. That would appear to be the issue. Okay, real quick, let me cancel this again then. Let me replace these down. With this setup as it is now, Will this now work as intended? I think the answer should be yes. Let's try this for a third time. 16 and start. So now with the blocking mode enabled, it's only gonna send one recipe at a time as opposed to trying to push more 
recipes in there, which is kind of perfect. We can speed these up a little bit as well if we wanted to. But basically, we can leave this doing its thing and we can focus on the Essence and Immersive Engineering's quest line. So let's see if we have what it takes to make this Essence one. This one's going to be a bit of a pain in the backside, but should be doable. So we need four basic ore Essence blocks. And again, we need to do that 16 times. So we need four. Uh, so we need a stack of the blocks. A stack of the blocks should be very doable. We've got a bunch of the Essence. We just take the Essence and we craft it into a stack of blocks. Easy. That's the first bit and the easiest bit taken care of. We also then need uh, basic mob essence blocks. Again, we need a stack of those. And so for that, we're gonna wanna take a stack of regular essence and just run it through this machine. And again, this is where our time in the bottle is really gonna help us. This mod is, uh, is pretty slow by default, but this is gonna get us a stack of mob essence. We can make it really as fast as we like. And that stack of mob essence should then allow us, oh, we need even more, right? We need like eight stacks of mob essence because we need um, a stack of the blocks. Okay, so we need uh, we need a lot more of that actually. Again, not really a problem, especially with the, uh, the speed that we can achieve with our time in a bottle, but it does mean we're gonna have to do this a few times here. All right, there we go. We got eight stacks of basic mob essence, good. We'll take those out, we'll let it keep doing its thing. So we can go ahead and craft these up like this and like this, cool. So we have the stack of ore essence blocks. We have the stack of mob essence blocks. We've got a lot of elite ore essence. We need uh, three, six, nine, 12 plus four, eight, 12, 16. So 28, as we saw before, 28 plus 16 for these two blocks means 44 per book, and we need 16 books, which is 704. So we need 704 elite mob essence, and we've got over a 1,000. So that is fine. Let's do this, and then we actually only need 32 of these, right? But that should be fine. We've got extra. That's not a problem at all. We've got more than enough elite mob essence. We've got thousands of the stuff, so that's not a problem either. So now, uh, we do need two... Well, we need these. We need 32 of these, I believe, which is also the same amount of these required i did make too many of them but that's fine let's make 32 of those perfect and then now it is kind of just the advanced or essence right so what we should do is we should go ahead and re-enable this the sequential fabricator which should start doing its job again and making more of these basic or blocks what we then want to do though is we then want to kind of just turn off these so here we've got the um you know what just on the upside here Let's take out the extract card. That should allow us to start backing up on these advanced or essence blocks, and we can just then craft those down into advanced or essence. So we need to get two, four, six, eight, multiplied by 16. We need 128 advanced mob essence, which thankfully is only two stacks. And again, these do come in quite quickly. And if we really wanted to over here, these are not filling up, but the one that is filling up, we can make faster. This one right here. We can make this hopefully a lot quicker. And again, thankfully this time we've got backed up Essence Upgraders. So unlike when we were accelerating the other machine, this one we can really accelerate to be as fast as we like because it um, should be fine. It, things should just keep coming in. And then we'll take all of the Advanced Art Essence as it's being made and we can go and place it into this guy over here. Again, we need two stacks of Advanced Essence. That's fine. We can keep doing this. We can then make this faster. We are going to run into the same issue where this kind of runs out and we have to wait for it to replenish, which does waste a little bit of our time in a bottle. But once this is done, I think we're basically good to go. I think that's kind of the last thing that we need to craft. And then it's just a case of getting another ultimate crafting table and actually making this craft uh, happen, right? Like making it into a reality. And there, I think the hardest part is just going to be having all of the stuff in our inventory at one time. So that's done. Fantastic. And then let's go crafting table. Can I make another one of these? I think the answer is maybe yes? I was going to say definitely yes, but um, it requires actually quite a lot of um, of technium to make it work. And we could potentially just steal this guy. Let me do some quick number crunching on how much voided technium we have and how much voided technium we need. So right now, do we have any mod mastery papers left? We do not. Okay. And we have two left to go. We've got immersive and thermal. So we need 32 more of the mod mastery papers, which is fine. That makes complete sense. Let me put you in here. That's gonna make more of these guys. Again, we can give that a quick tip. Once I have one more of those, that's the last one that we need to make into papers. So if we do this and this, that gets us 34 more, 32 is what we needed. But uh, those 32 should be all that we need. And so now we just need 
32 more Void Technium to do this 16 times. So we've got 15 there. We just need more Nether Stars. We have more Nether Stars coming in. We can make more of them, of course. So if we need 32, uh, that means that we need 17 more, which means that we need 68 more Nether Stars. So can I get 70 more Nether Stars, please? Again, we'll make that faster. And then I think once we've made all of the Voided Technium that we need, which again, hopefully shouldn't take too long here. Once we've got all the Voided Technium we need, we can then go ahead and just repurpose that pre-existing crafting table to make that essence happen. And there we go, we've got 47 Voided Technium. That should be more than we need. And so now let's go ahead and take, uh, let's select a different recipe. Um, let me put some of this back away into the system. I didn't mean to take that out initially. Let's take all of this out of here and let's see if we can't actually complete the, the next book here. So um, I believe we can shift click this in. You can only shift click it in though if you have the stuff required. That should be maybe fine. We'll take some of these and then I need the uh, the basic essence, right? Which should be over here and it should be backing up quite nicely. It is fantastic. So we'll decraft that and then over here, can I now shift click this recipe in? I totally can. Let me uh, shift click to save that recipe. Turn that off real quick. Shift click and click. All right, that's now selected. So we'll turn you back on and now we just need to, to make this recipe happen. So we've got one book, we've got two books. What am I missing? I'm missing Elite Essence. Okay, let me clear out my inventory of all the stuff that's not like Essence related. And then let's grab a bunch of the Elite or Essence here. How much can I shift click in now? 10 more, that's good. That is actually very good. Let's do this. Let's make all of those nice and fast. And then we'll figure out what we're missing. We're very close here though. So that's 12, we need four more. We're now missing Elite Mob Essence. We have loads of Elite Mob Essence. That's perfect, back in here. Can we do four more? We can do four more, chat. We've done it, all right, good. This is very good. We have got 16 Mod Mastery Essence books. That leaves us with kind of just one left. How is the Thermal one doing? The Thermal one is still on its way. Um, I'll cancel this recipe because I think I took those out manually. Um, over here, hardened glass is being made. That is fine. We can uh, make that faster, of course, with the time in a bottle. But uh, the immersive engineering one here isn't going to be too tricky, I don't think, but it is going to require that we set up a few custom machines to make it work. So uh, if we go for immersive engineering, we can unbookmark all of this and then bookmark this guy. For this, we need a bottling machine, which we do have, but we'll probably make another one just so we don't disrupt our pre-existing setup. Um, I can bookmark that. We need to make this phenolic resin. We make that in a refinery, bookmark that with creosote oil and this liquid. <laughs> creosote oil, we are able to make from our Coke ovens and we do have some in here, but not much. That could be tricky. Real quick, do we have a, a tank of any persuasion? We don't. However, we can now make these mechanism tanks as we saw previously and upgrading these is not too difficult either. So I might go through the chain a little bit here. Do we have some elite reinforced alloys? We do. Let me do this and then let's do an upgrade to that. I'm going to temporarily throw this down. Also, let me get my atomic disassembler back out. I'm going to throw this down here in place of the fluid trash can so that we can uh, hopefully start to back up on creosote a little bit just while we work on other stuff so that hopefully we can come back and take that later. So uh, again, back here, we need uh, both of these, the creosote we're making, this liquid here is made in the refinery, so we need another refinery um, with ethanol and silver plates. Silver plates, easy enough, we can make those in abundance, and then we need ethanol. Ethanol we can get from sugarcane. How much sugarcane do we have? We've got 1,500, so we do need to do some quick arithmetic here, I think. We need 1,000 millibuckets per book. We need 16 books, so we need to get 16 buckets worth, right? 16 buckets here, that's 16,000 millibuckets divided by eight, means that we need to do this recipe here 2,000 times. So we need 2,000, we need basically 16 buckets of creosote oil, which is actually not a problem at all. And then we need uh, 2,000 times 12, we need 24 buckets of this liquid. If we're gonna get 24 buckets of this liquid, that means we need 24 buckets of ethanol, um, which is fine. And we need to do this recipe here, like a lot <laughs> is the other thing. We might need a few thousand silver plates. Again, not a problem. And then to get 24,000 millibuckets of this, we need 24 buckets of ethanol and 24 buckets of ethanol would be 24,000 millibuckets divided by 
80. It's only 300 sugar cane, actually, so this is fine. And we need an industrial fermenter for that. So we need a fermenter, we need two refineries, and we need a bottling machine. Oh, and I'm being told the silver plate is only a catalyst, so we only need one. That is very nice to know. So, for the bottling machine, we need all the stuff that we've seen previously. We need some light engineering blocks, we need some heavy engineering blocks, neither of which we have. We need a pump, which we do have, thankfully, along with conveyor belts, which we have, and some iron sheet metal, which we have. We've got two, which is perfect. Do we have a redstone engineering block? We do, perfect. And uh, each one of these machines does require a redstone engineering block, so that's fine. Um, I guess we should probably start at the other end, actually, with the squeezer, because that's the first machine that we need, and we kind of need to work towards the bottling machine. In terms of light engineering blocks, how many can we make? The answer is basically zero, but we can change that answer. At this point in time, I'm quite happy to use the uh, the standard recipe, even though the engineer's workbench is more efficient. Uh, it's going to be faster if we just do something like this and just make a bunch of iron plates utilizing the multi-server press here and then use that to make a bunch of iron mechanical components and then use that to make these uh, light engineering blocks. Fantastic. Uh, that should be enough for all of the machines by the looks of it. Uh, they don't seem to use too many. That's good. We then have the redstone engineering blocks. That's fine. Uh, we do need one more of these, actually. That's easy done. Then we need cauldrons, which are thankfully very straightforward. We'll make four of those. We do have um, lots of iron. Oh, 1.2 million at this point. We need iron pipes, which we do not have. Uh, never mind, we do. They're just called pipes, not iron pipes. And then steel scaffolding, which we don't have, but we can definitely make. We'll be making quite a bit of this to cover up our conveyor belts. Perfect. So I think I'll build this over here. We've got space right here. Let's grab the manual because the manual is going to make it easier for us to place these items down. And let's see if we can't get the squeezer down. Is that the first one we needed? No, the fermenter, sorry. The fermenter and the squeezer are both pretty similar. We need the fermenter. And if I hit pause here, we need to build it like this. So the bottom level is kind of a C with the pipes there. And then it's the same again with the cauldron. Okay, so I think we do this guy here with the sheet metal down around like this. The pipes go in the middle. They go here and here. We then have another light engineering block there. We have, I think, a redstone engineering block here. We then have what looks like our four cauldrons here, 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 and here. And then, was it iron sheet metal on top? Four iron sheet metal, not two. We're out. We used all of our iron plates. That's fine. We can make more iron plates real quick. Let's do these. And, of course, this as well. Make it just a little bit faster. Can I have one more set, please, of iron sheet metal? I can. Okay. I think, then, that this is correct. If we grab the hammer, can I right-click and make that work? I totally can. Fantastic. Let's get a flux point made, which, at this point in time, our system can make the flux... Oh, no, never mind. We were going to teach you this, and we didn't, I don't think. That's fine. Let me get an eye of ender. Let's make a bunch of those, and then let's get... Uh, flux cores, we'll make a bunch of those, and hit me with a flux point so that we can do something like this. That's where the power goes in. Lappy power on. And now we should be able to take approximately 300 sugarcane, place that into here, like that, and we should begin the production process on making the ethanol, I think. We do. Nice. That's all getting made. I do think we can make this faster by doing this. Yeah, you gotta click the right block. I think it's the center block here that makes it quicker. We needed 24 buckets and we have 24 buckets. Perfect, okay, cool. So again, a tank here would be useful. Boom and boom. Uh, this tank holds 64,000 buckets. And so this I'm pretty sure is the output and that should be 24 buckets, nice. Okay, cool, it'll make some more. That's completely fine, not a problem whatsoever. Next up is the refinery. I think the only thing we're missing here is a heavy, engineering block. For the heavy engineering block, we need a couple of things that we don't have. Most importantly, by the looks of it, it's just steel plates. Um, we are a little strapped for steel, but I think that's fine. Let's do this and this. I think steel, I said strapped for steel, I'm pretty sure steel is actively being made, and we're kind of intentionally keeping a low supply of it. So let's do at least four of these, and then at least one set of this. Uh, by that, I mean 44 sets, apparently. And then we need just an Electrum, eh? That surprises me we don't have one. But I think the Electrum is all being turned into Electrum Gears over here. 
and we can take that electrum and use it to make the heavy engineering block. And so once we have that, we can go back to the manual and we can figure out where the refinery is gonna go down. So the refinery is a pretty big structure. Again, you wanna click um, pause here and pause again like that. But it looks fairly straightforward. It's mostly just steel scaffolding. We'll place this kind of directly in front of our pre-existing setup here. So it looks something like this and like this and like this. The pipes go all the way through the middle. Not here on the end though. Perfect. Then we have a heavy engineering block at the front, a light engineering block at the back. And then on top of the pipe here, if we go like this, uh, oh, we do need another heavy engineering block actually. That's um, unfortunate. We have another light engineering block there. We have a redstone engineering block here. We then have, oh, I think we have like a quite a bit of iron sheet metal actually, which we don't currently have. Let me get some more of that because I think it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm pretty sure there's another level of it like this on top. Uh, do we have what it takes to make another one of these? We maybe do if we didn't turn all of our steel into steel sheet metal. That's fine though. As I said earlier, the steel is coming back in. You'll see it replenished um, from the first time we used our first stack there. So we can just do this and again, get another four of those to get another one of these. Oh no, I'm a fool. I made way too many of those. We actually did have them. I thought you made them one at a time. You don't, you make them four at a time. Either way, um, that is all good. And I think that's everything, right? I think if I right click here, we have a refinery, perfect. So I'm gonna steal this flux point uh, as soon as I turn this back on and we'll place that down onto the power point here. Then in here, if we're gonna make this stuff, we need ethanol and we need silver plates. I've been told that the silver plates here are just a catalyst. Like we don't actually need to use the silver plate. We just need to have one in the setup. So if we were to put this down here, I don't think that auto outputs, it doesn't. If I take this and I put it in here, that also doesn't work, eh? That's unfortunate. Um, in that case, I think we might need to get something like a laser node to allow us to quickly move this over. I don't think we've actually used the laser nodes with fluids just yet, but if we get, I actually don't know if you can, ooh, real quick, if I pick this up and I press B to turn it into bucket mode, is B not how you change the uh, the mode in this? Controls, key bindings, mode, switch. Uh, it's keypad six, I changed it, okay. If we do that and turn bucket mode on, can I just put this in? I can't, that's unfortunate. We'll turn bucket mode off, Never mind. So here we need to get two fluid cards, which thankfully are pretty straightforward, although again, I did have to turn netherite production back on again to make yet more voided technium, which means as per usual, we are now out of gold, which is not ideal, but as soon as we turn it off, the gold does come back in quite quickly. We'll take two fluid cards, uh, which needs a bucket of all things. And then once we have those, we'll set one of them to extract and one of them to insert. And then we can just use that to move the fluid from the tank over and into the refinery. So we'll put one in here and the insert card in here. That should start moving that over. It does indeed, fantastic. I was wondering if overclock upgrades would be necessary. I don't know if they are necessary, but they could be useful, especially given that we already have some in the system. Let's go here, extract, overclock, move, just as much as you can every tick. Let's go keep that full, fantastic. And then again, I think we can accelerate like here. I'm actually not quite sure if we can accelerate this or if there's a port that makes it faster, but either way, it's going pretty quickly. And we only need, we only need 24 buckets of this, again, much like the last time. And so once we have 24 buckets of that, we probably want to take it out and just reuse the same refinery. Do we have 24 buckets of creosote over here? We do, we got 63,000, fantastic. 63,000 millibuckets, that is not 63,000 buckets. Uh, that would be insane. But uh, over here, let's just do the same thing. Let's wait for this to finish emptying, which shouldn't take too much longer. Once that's empty, I'm gonna pick it up and we're gonna use it to collect the ethanol, which I think is gonna come out the front like that. Perfect. Once we've got 24,000 millibuckets of ethanol, because that's all we need, then we can go ahead and probably just temporarily break the refinery because we don't need to use all of the, um, we don't need to use up all of the ethanol that we have in here. 
And then we can use the same notes to put the other fluids back in. There was another import on this side, but that's also fine. And so, again, I don't think there might be a block somewhere here that makes you, makes this faster, but I'm not sure which block that is or if it if it does actually exist. But we're very close. All right, there we go. 24 buckets worth. So now, break this. Temporarily break the refinery. I'm fairly certain that the refinery will lose its contents when we do that. It does. And so now over here, we can do the same thing again, this time with this liquid that we just made on this side. That's going to get pulled into the left side. Fantastic. And the 24 buckets was all that we needed. And then what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll steal this laser node, put it down on the other side with the same deal here. We're going to extract from this side and we're going to insert on the west side, put down the creosote like so. And then from there, we should just start making the thing that we're actually after, which is the resin. And then now we just need to put that into a bottling machine and we should be good to go. And so for the bottling machine, we need to put down two steel scaffolding like this and this with the redstone engineering block in the center like that. We then need two iron sheet metal, which thankfully we do have to go here and here. We've got conveyor belts, of course, going over the front like that. I think that's correct. And then we've got uh, light engineering blocks at the back and we've got a pump. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. So I think there's one steel scaffolding here. I think there's two light engineering blocks here and here. And then I believe there's a pump that goes down right here. And then we take our hammer and we right click on the belts and that totally works. Fantastic. So chat, we're very close. Mod mastery papers. So that needs to go in, I think here, I think we take a hopper, we put that hopper down like this. We take our mod mastery paper, we put that in here. I think that might work. And then we need uh, another tank here to move some of these liquids over. That, again, is completely fine. Let's do one of these, let's do one of those. That's gonna start to fill up. We need uh, 16 buckets of this, which we're very close to having. And, oh no, I'm a fool, of course. These go, <laughs> that is completely wrong. Uh, that is my bad. These are gonna go here. These are gonna get filled up, right? And that's where we need the um, the 16 peppers. So let's do 16 of these in here. And then we just need to take the fluid hopper, I guess, just like we did in the start of the pack. We're gonna place that down right about not there. We went facing this way, fantastic. And then if we take this, I think we can now change that to bucket mode and just put that in there. And that should start taking the stuff required. And of course, if we move over our flux point one last time to here, that should begin producing the mod mastery papers. And with that chat, I'm pretty sure that we are good to go. We got the thermal papers as well. That's all good. I think, I think, I think, I think we're almost there. Let me do this. We need to do that four times in total because this is gonna take a little bit of time. Uh, can I? I think I can make this faster with a little bit of a time in a bottle accelerate there. Just making sure this is completely full on resin. Our, bu our books are just falling onto the ground on the other side, but that's completely fine. And I think that, that is everything for 16 books. It is perfect. All right, so now that that is done, we have every single book taken care of. Let me grab the thermal book just to complete the quest there. Perfect, and now, now we need to craft up 16 final technium ingots. All right, so way too much time later, and I think we are now about ready to actually look at beginning to craft this final technium ingot. Basically, what I've just spent the last hour doing is burning through all eight hours of time that we had stored in our time in a bottle, speeding up the different bottlenecks that were slowing down our technium production because a quick bit of back of the napkin math here, and it looked like we were going to need hundreds of each technium ingot. And so essentially what I did is I sped up all of the parts required to get us more hellish technium. Once we got to the amount of hellish technium required, which is 128 ingots, I then stopped the production of hellish technium. So I disconnected this down here. So we're no longer exporting the ultimate technium. And then over here, then I began speeding up the process of making ultimate technium, the big bottleneck here, was infused crystalline. So I've added a bunch more of these induction smelters to produce this stuff much, much faster. And then once we got to the required amount 
of Advanced Technium. I then turned off the exporting of Elite Technium. And then I came over here and I started working on the bottleneck for Elite Technium. That was Electrum Gears and Signalum. So I made these machines faster using the time in a bottle. And then of course I disabled the Advanced Technium on the bank and then came over here did the same thing for advanced technium mostly that involved speeding up the bottling machine which you can do by speeding up this bit right here that makes it much much faster we also had uh, some bottlenecks with steel gears as well again just made those faster by upgrading the integral components and also by using the time in a bottle and then finally once we had all of the advanced technium i came over here and sped through the bottlenecks on this as well this bottleneck was cold coke and so what we've done over here is we've thrown down a pyrolyzer this is a machine from thermal expansion that is actually fairly easy to make it requires a blaze rod two nether bricks two constant gears and of course a machine frame and a redstone flux coil and essentially this does the exact same thing as a coke oven in that it can turn coal into cold coke and it also produces the byproduct of creosote but of course you can make it much faster than a coke oven with the integral components the flux linkage amplifiers and of course the time in a bottle we've then got just a pump here that pumps out the uh, liquid and i used this pump just because we were, already had these pipes here and i don't think you can pump fluid ducts into fluid pipes from immersive engineering either way that increased the amount of treated wood that we were getting and it also increased the amount of cold coke that we were getting to the point that we now have a few hundred of every single tier of technium and i think we have enough if i'm not mistaken to look at making this final technium ingot the last thing we need to do i guess there are two last things that we need to do we need to get all of the quantum compressed dye that should be fairly straightforward we have all of the dye base we just have to export it all to a quantum compressor and that will make all the quantum compressed dye the slightly harder thing is that we have to make 16 of these resonant angel rings and so once again i do think it is going to be in our best interest here to just teach our system how to make those resonant angel rings and then just request that 16 of them be made so the ring itself not too bad does require a few things that we don't currently know how to make blocks of enderium of course super easy to teach and our system already knows how to make enderium so that is fine i'm going to go through and teach it how to make all of the base rings here first and then we'll look at all of the smaller crafts required in just a second so with these recipes right here our system technically now knows how to make the rings however if we go and try and request one of those rings we're almost certainly going to run into issues so if we try and request 16 we're missing a few things but we're really not missing too much feathers could be interesting is there a way for us to make feathers there is i think we saw this before we can make feathers with string and of course we can make string with hemp and we do have hemp it's just not connected to the system it is available over here let's do a quick one of these we might actually need more hemp than this if we do that's not too big of a deal we are slowly but surely rebuilding time in our bottle but hopefully this is enough for 32 feathers it is indeed fantastic that is taken care of what else did we need here so some of these things we're going to teach some of these things i don't think it's going to be worth teaching for example right here we need 16 energized glowstone energized glowstone is what you get when you take glowstone and you place it into a magma crucible that is going to break down and do we have some flux linkage amplifiers we have one here we also have more over here now that are not really needed like we don't really need more steel gears at this point so we can probably just steal a few of those and use them to make our magma crucible just that little bit faster and that's going to slowly but surely produce buckets of energized glowstone we need 16 buckets worth we can just dump those all into the system and that will be fine along the same lines we also need to make 32 of a couple of these augments from thermal expansion so we need the stabilized rf augment i'll bookmark that we also need the high flux rf augment as well so i'll bookmark that and i think again it's probably just going to be easier if we just make that there's also the same with the blaze rods here we need quite a few more blaze rods again i think it's going to be easier if we just take our pre-existing blaze rods and annoyingly i did take down the metal press do i need the metal press i don't we can use the resource duplicate so that's probably our best bet here because it's going to take a little bit of time to uh, reset up the metal press instead we no longer need any more nether stars and so over here if we just quickly swap out this nether star for this blaze rod throw this guy in and just let that do its thing that's going to slowly but surely produce all the blaze rods 
that we're going to need over here this is going to slowly but surely produce the energized glowstone and in fact i'm fairly certain that you can do this to get uh, even more energized glowstone as well while we wait for that let's make just a bunch of these and then let's also go ahead and make ideally i was gonna say 32 but we can just make a stack of both of these it's easier than uh, clicking you know 32 times to get exactly 32 of each and so now we've got electron blocks and then we've got endarium glass signalum glass lumium glass and that's it so we need three different types of glass electron blocks are obviously fairly straightforward electron we don't have a ton of but again we are making electron over here it's just not connected up to the uh, the main system it's available right here we are turning it all into gears at the minute i think we can probably quite safely disable that for the time being i don't think we're going to need many more electron gears and of course we can do something like this to uh, to very quickly get a bunch of electron that we can then craft into blocks we need 32 blocks in total to make that happen while we wait for that to back up though the different tiers of glass that we need are basically all hardened glass but just crafted with different blends so the endarium glass for example is hardened glass that is combined with endarium that should actually be completely fine i think we have enough slots free behind our induction smelter here we totally do and so if we go ahead teach our system this encode we can then do the same with signalum glass which is here and encode does our system know how to make lumium it totally does fantastic and so we can do the same thing here as well with the uh, lumium glass and if we just throw all three of those into the back of the induction smelter that should basically be all three of those taken care of blaze rod wise those should be now in the system they are indeed and so what are we missing i think we're pretty close to being able to do this we're still missing a bit of electrum of course we're still missing the energized glowstone and we're missing a little bit of signalum of all things signalum again is being made over here let's take the electrum out let's grab the signalum as well we can just drop that into the system we can do this and this to get all of the electron blocks that we're going to need and then over here hopefully we have 16 buckets of energized glowstone we definitely do fantastic and so it should be as simple now as grabbing 16 buckets using those to get all of the energized glowstone that we need and if we place all of that in the system, I think we now have everything we need in order to request 16 rings. I think we might have to tweak one of the recipes here because the system seems to think that it needs the uh, the endarium in liquid form. So I think this recipe right here needs to be tweaked. If I put that back in, it does have the bucket there. But for whatever reason, it doesn't want to craft with that bucket when I request it. Which is unfortunate. That could be fine. Okay, so all I did here is I took the angel ring pattern. I put it in the output slot again. And I just changed the recipe. By default, substitutions are set to disabled. I changed this to substitutions enabled. Clicked encode again. And then swapped it back over to the pattern provider and now it looks like it will let me do the craft and so next and start that's probably gonna take a little bit of time to complete just because there's quite a lot of stuff that uh, that needs to be done but of course we do have a couple of minutes worth of time in our uh, time in a bottle here we can make a couple of these things a little bit faster although i guess while we wait for that we can go ahead and steal this quantum compressor here again we no longer really need it over here we're not going to make any more of these singularities and so if we steal this guy over here we should be able to use this as a way to make those quantum compressed dies if we do this we can then place our ultimate catalyst back in and i'm fairly certain that we want to do something like this and put in a bunch of die to get what we need what we are almost certainly going to want to do here is grab another me export bus place that down right up against the quantum compressor grab some flukes cable to connect that up it looks like we are completely out of flukes cable but that is fine we do have what it takes to make really as much as we like and assuming we have enough channels which it looks like we do we should be able to set this to export we should then be able to steal a couple of the acceleration cards from some of these inscribers over here and then that will allow us to make our exporter much much faster which should then begin exporting the die very quickly and it should hopefully within the next couple of minutes make us all of the quantum compressed die that we're going to need in order to get the final technium
All right, so not too long later, we're almost there on the quantum compressed die. I did move it. The uh, export bus was actually quite slow, even with the acceleration cards. So I just put it on top of the quantum compressor here. And then we have the same setup with an extract card that has four overclockers that allows it to move a stack at a time. And so this just very quickly moves the compressed die up into the quantum compressor to get the uh, 64 quantum compressed die that we need. And if we look at our crafting recipe here, it is on its way. It's almost done. We are just making the uh, different tiers of hardened glass here. And of course, we can make that a tiny bit faster, although I am basically out of time in a bottle at this point. But it looks like we are basically done. Look at that. Fantastic. So I don't think these stack, which is a pain in the backside. Um, also, I think they will work if they're fully charged. I don't think that's going to be a problem for us. I don't think we're going to have to um, like manually decharge them. But uh, essentially now, all we need to do is just grab a crafting table and use it. So we can probably steal one of these. We're not going to make any more of these books going forward. So I will take this crafting table. And we could have left it there, to be fair. But we'll bring it over here and we'll use it for our final craft. So let me get rid of everything that we don't need in our inventory. And we can unbookmark these coils. To make this, we need one of each book. Thankfully, the books do stack. And so if we go ahead and take basically all of these out, that's good to go. Then we need the quantum compressed die, which we have. And then we need some of each tier of technium. We don't need more than a stack of any one, I don't think, for any one recipe. But in here, if we do this, oh, I'm missing the hellish technium. Of course, the hellish technium is the only technium that's not connected to the system. That's fine. We have a stack here and a stack here, which I think is all that we need. And so it should now just be a case of shift clicking this in. We can shift click to save the recipe, I guess, and select it. And ideally, we can just keep doing that. We're going to have to shift click each one in <laughs> because of the fact that the uh, angel rings here don't stack. The fact that the angel rings don't stack means that we can't put more than one recipe in at a time. But I think we're basically good to go here. The thing to watch out for if you're doing this recipe, uh, the thing to prepare for is the fact that these resonant rings require a lot of elite technium. It looks like the final recipe here doesn't require that much elite technium. Uh, let me quickly keep shift clicking this in. Uh, if you look at the recipe, we need a lot of advanced technium. It's 20 advanced technium per craft, but it's only eight elite technium. So it looks like you don't need that much elite technium, but that's because the rings require a ton of technium. Each one of these requires two elite technium in each tier, and then the final tier requires four elite technium. And so you have to do this 16 times. You have to do each recipe 16 times, and that really uh, kind of snowballs towards the end. So you do need a lot of elite technium, kind of more elite technium, than any other tier, in fact. But I think we have everything we need. And so long as we can continue to shift click these in one at a time, we should have basically everything. I guess we could put a chest on top and, and just dump the items into there. That would also do the trick. I don't know how fast it would be per se, because it uh, does take a little while for these to move in, but it might be somewhat fast enough. And we can go ahead and just grab the remaining basic technium, ultimate technium, elite technium, and advanced technium that we have. And we can just throw all of it into the chest here. Do we have any more angel rings? We do indeed. We'll take those four as well. We'll drop those in. And then finally, we've got a few minutes left on our time in a bottle. Let's just do one of these to make it nice and fast. And that almost worked. It looks like it doesn't want to pull these down. And so we are still going to have to manually one at a time pull these down, but it does make it a little bit faster, I think, than shift clicking it in over and over again. And with that chat, we are done with... Oh, these are not going in the right slots. <laughs> Hold on, we're not quite done yet. Uh, we're missing advanced. Do we not have enough advanced technium? We don't have enough advanced technium. I really thought that I had enough. Let me go check over here. How are we doing on advanced technium? We are not doing well. However, I think we do have excess basic technium because the basic technium is still being made. It's the only one that is still being made. And so I think there's way more of this than there needs to be. Let me take all of it out. Let's put you, let's put 27 back in there. And then let's uh, quickly over here throw in the basic technium give that a quick <laughs> one tap because it's the best we can do to make more advanced technium again for now the advanced technium should just go into the system the advanced technium is also it's the one you need the most of for this specific recipe i really thought i'd calculated it correctly but i guess that is not the case we're so close though we've got 11 i guess we're actually not that close though because well we've almost got enough for number 12 
There's ingot 12. But we need to get four <laughs> more ingots on top of that. Which is unfortunate. Let me just quickly go and check that we've not got any advanced technium hanging out in these drawers. We don't. That was um, wishful thinking on my part. All right. I think we... Uh, I think I need to go back and, and do a little bit more advanced technium crafting for the last four rings here. Because again, we need 80 more advanced technium to get these last four rings, which should be fine. Uh, do we have enough basic technium for the last four rings? We do not. Let me uh, put this in here. We need four basic technium in each slot, which we don't quite have yet. If we put that back, there is almost there. We need one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. So now that's enough basic technium. We have enough ultimate technium. We've got more than enough void of technium. We've got enough hellish technium. We've got enough books. We've got enough quantum compressed die. We've got enough resonant angel rings. We've got enough elite technium. The only thing we need is approximately 80 more. How many do we have here? We've got uh, five. So we need 75 more advanced technium. That is actually not too bad. There's 40. So that takes our 75 down to 35 right away. We've got 11 more basic technium here. How much more is in here? Zero. Okay, that's fine. We've got 11 more in there. That takes 35 down to 24. And then it's just coal cook that looks to be our limiting factor here. And so all I've been doing is taking stacks of coal, dropping them into the pyrolyzer. I was using my time in a bottle to make the pyrolyzer faster, which of course is uh, trickier to do now. And then I've just been moving those over in stacks to get more basic technium. But... We're pretty close. We're very, very close. We just need to get a little bit more, and uh, and we should be good to go. Not quite sure why Inval's not moving over there, but we can move it over manually, of course, to uh, to speed things up. And so, real quick, I'm just going to get the remaining, like, 20-ish advanced technium that we don't have. We'll drop that in. We'll continue, of course, to uh, craft these down with the resonant angel rings, which we can actually do almost three more times here. We're so close. <laughs> We're so very close that might be one more ingot it totally is we're one away we're one ingot away and we're 17 advanced technium away from making that a reality but we've only got two basic technium that's it's really it's really holding us back and it looks like clay is the limiting factor here which is very surprising how are we doing on clay down here are we fully out i wouldn't be surprised if we're fully out we're not fully out, but I have made a grave mistake here in that for some reason, I have uh, not locked this drawer. And also now we've got uh, steel going in there as well, which is also not correct. Let me take all of that out. And annoyingly, I've also just put all of the clay away. Let me, oh, let me, let me put, a ch uh, you know what, actually, let me just get rid of this uh, link cable and then we can move this back like so. Once it's got clay in it, we can use our key to lock the drawer to clay. Fantastic. And then we can replace down that link cable and that should continue to export the uh, the clay back around to the table here. And again, at that point now, it's just coal coke that's missing. That's fine. We have a bunch of the stuff. Let's do this. That is going to start making more of the basic technium. We can make it a tiny bit faster over here. Again, Inval for some reason not being exported, um, despite the fact that it is on the list here. And we do have stack hand speed upgrades. Again, not quite sure. The simple storage network has been a little bit iffy towards the end of the pack here. But I think we are... Kind of well on our way here. It looks like clay is still the bottleneck. We could replace, uh, real quick actually, the ruby blocks here with beacons. And of course, we can do a little tap to make things just a tiny bit faster. Let's do this, 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 and this. And then if we just go quickly swap those out, that should relieve the clay bottleneck, which just goes to show how much basic technium we've made over the course of the past hour because we managed to fully drain that, uh, that drawer that previously had just a staggering amount of clay inside of it. Let's get rid of you, 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 and you, and replace them with the four beacons to make it just that little bit faster. There we go. And I think, champ, that we are almost there. All right, I think we have it. 23 more advanced technium, I think, is all that we need. Champ, we have done it. 16 final technium ingots and as a reward we get one free tech book would you look at that and with that we have completed the final technium chapter and we have completed techopolis 2 watermod pack i thoroughly enjoyed this one thank you as always to ben ben law the creator of this mod pack i appreciate 
the time and effort that went into making it. Uh, I appreciate all the little tweaks as well made between Techopolis 1 and Techopolis 2. Uh, he definitely took some criticism on board and definitely made some improvements to the miners and stuff. It's a, a much improved experience overall. I really like it. A little grindy at the end, but I think it's completely fine. It's a good experience. Still, I love the miners. I love our little three-tiered system here in the middle with all of our miners, even this uh, chaotic die ore platform that we have at the bottom that's still producing a, a staggering amount of dye ore, which I assume is still being uh, transformed up into quantum compressed dye up there. And unfortunately, I don't think there's any use for <laughs> the Technium. Um, it looks like we can... Oh, it's just this is just the final quest. It's not a repeatable quest. It's this quest here showing that we can get one tech book for having 16 Technium. But uh, yeah, that is Techopolis 2. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the series and you haven't done so already, please do hit the subscribe button down below to get notified when new videos go out. Also, feel free to leave a like down below as well. Let YouTube know that you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully they'll uh, show it to other people as well. For now, though, thank you for watching all the way through to the end. I really do appreciate it. It means a whole heck of a lot. I'll be back very soon with a brand new mod pack. For now, though, thank you for watching again and I'll see you guys next time.